Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. So I decided I would do a little bit of kind of first impressions look at this Field Notes dime novel set. Um, set of two 72 page blank books. Um, so this is a little bit different than what they normally do. They're exactly the same. So I'll put that one aside. Um, it's inspired by the old, you know, turn of the century uh I get dime novels, um, and I'll have a link in the uh, notes below about uh, for, with their video about like explaining the dime novel and all that because I'm not going to go into that. But uh, needless to say, this is a pretty cool little um, version of it. So um, I happen to have a craft here, so you can see like without the craft there, it kind of looks like it's a little bit crafty, but you know with it next to it you can tell how kind of orange it is really so um, and how small it is that's a standard craft size so it's a little bit bigger um, it's four and a quarter by six and a half so four and a quarter by six and a half and the binding is different now it's not quite uh, pure bound or perfect bound it is a uh, smith sewn so you have the three little signatures there if I can get it to focus. Hmm, not wanting to focus, but you can see the three different signatures there. One, two, three little books. So, and there are blank pages. Um, it doesn't lay super duper flat, but it, it will lay flat if you break it a little bit. Um, it's no different, really. It's, it's probably actually better than like a straight pure bound book but it needs some work I mean I literally just opened it just got it in the mail today it needs some work to break this up but um, some of them that you'll see are actually like not glued here but these are glued um, so that would cause it from laying as flat as maybe it could um, on the back it's got a really hilarious list of 146 different publications and it's just like funny names about the uh the different it's kind of like referencing field notes but like and other things in and around uh the company or you know in design in general or probably a lot of personal jokes in there um but they're based they're like what in book title form so for instance um Let's see here. Let me find one that would make sense. Okay. Uh, it's not going to focus, but uh, 29 is nuts at the gate. So I can only imagine uh, what that means. Um, so, yeah, overall, this is really cool. Um, I'm not a big fan of blank pages, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is a really cool drawing in there. It's basically, it looks like a printing press thing, so... And it tells a little bit of the story of the dime novel in the back. Um, but I'm really interested to try out this paper, regardless if it's blank or not, um, because it's Strathmore 70-pound text, natural white. And they said in their uh, release notes that it's the heaviest paper they've ever put in one in a field note. So um, I will uh, do more testing, obviously, um, I haven't done any, but I'll do testing in, uh, in the written review, uh, see how it pans out against, uh, some wet fountain pens. So, um, but yeah, I'm real interested in, uh, and it, the paper seems a little bit like toothy, so it would probably be pretty good for pencil too. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good for pencil. Uh, unlike some of their paper, especially like the standard everyday paper that's in the craft is a little bit smooth for my taste for pencils so you have to use a really dark pencil really to just get a line that's somewhat legible um so anyway yeah uh this is really cool it's a quite a departure but like in the best way that they do departures you know like byline was a departure from the size but you know it's like a reporter's notebook and like the whole design was beautiful and same way with this like it's not the same size it's a different binding it's uh 
you know, more pages. It doesn't fit in your pocket. I mean, unless you have big pockets, like, so, but it also is like exactly what their brand is. So I think it's really cool. Um, I'll have more in the written review, which I'll update the, uh, links down below when that written review happens, but I just wanted to get this out, get a kind of initial look at it and, uh, see what, let you guys know what I thought of it. But overall, without having used it and written in it, it looks pretty sweet. All right. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button down there. Um, and I will uh, be putting out more videos shortly. Thanks a lot.